What's up guys? Sophia Lagrada here! Good day! My name is Raniel B. Costa. Hello guys! I am Jobelin D. Totor. Hello fella! I'm Joanna B. Hinatas. Hi, I'm Dixie Nobreras. Greetings! I am Charles Kenneth F. Calusa. We're from the strata accountancy, business and management, and we're going to talk about mission and overrides. Commission and Overrides from Accountancy, Business, and Management of Grade 11. For the definition of terms, Commission, incentives that salesmen, agents, and brokers receive for increasing a firm's sales. Commission Rate, percentage of the commission from the total sales. Basic Salary, monthly compensation of an agent from the company. Total Sales, sales made by the agent. Overrides, incentives received based on the sales of people under marketing or product managers. Gross earnings, total of the basic salary, commission, and the overrides. To get the plain commission, we have the formula. Commission is equal to total sales times commission rate. For example, Carmen is a sales agent for the high East real. She's paid based on commission only. She's given a 2% commission on her sales. For the current month, her sales was 1,035,000. Find her commission. Given and solution. Given, commission rate is equal to 2% or 0.02. Sales is equal to 1,035,000. For solution, commission is equal to total sales times commission rate. 1,035,000 times 0.02 equals to 20,700. Cross earnings with basic salary and commission, we have the formula. Gross earnings is equal to basic salary plus commission or basic salary plus the quantity of sales times rate. Let's take again the example from the first problem. Carmen is a sales agent for the high ace realty. She is paid based on commission only. She is given a 2% commission on her sales. For the current month, her sales was 1,035,000. If she has a salary of 10,000 pesos per month, what is her basic salary? Given and solution. Given. Commission rate is equal to 2% or 0 0.02. Sales is equal to 1,035,000 pesos. Basic salary is equal to 10,000 pesos. Solution. Basic salary plus sales times rate. 10,000 plus 1,035,000 pesos times 0 0.02 is equal to 10,000 pesos plus 20,000 pesos and 107 is equal to 30,907 pesos. Gross earnings with basic salary and commission. Our formula. Gross earnings is equal to basic salary plus commission or basic salary plus rate times sales minus quota. For example, Eugene Tito is a sales representative earning a basic salary of 18,000 pesos a month plus 3% commission on his sales exceeding his quota of 15,000 pesos Assume he made a total sales of 36,000 pesos for the current month. Find his gross earnings. Given and solution. Given. Commission rate is equal to 3% is equal to 0 0.03. Total sales is equal to 36,000 pesos. Basic salary is equal to 18,000 pesos. Quota is equal to 15,000 pesos. In solution. 
we're going to use the formula. So, 18,000 pesos plus 0 0.03 times 36,000 pesos minus 15,000 pesos is equal to 18,000 pesos plus 0 0.03 times 21,000 pesos is equal to 18,000 pesos plus 630 pesos is equal to 18,000 pesos 630. Gross earnings with overrides. Formula Gross earnings is equal to basic salary plus commission plus overrides. Or basic salary plus quantity of sales times rate plus quantity of men sales times override rate. For example, Mr. Cornelia is a product manager with five sales representatives under him. The company gives him an annual salary of 126,000 pesos commission of 5% on his own sales, and an override of 1.5% on his men's sales, find his gross earnings for the month if his total sales is 365,000 pesos, with his men able to sell a total of 1,548,263 pesos for the month. For the given, Basic salary is equal to 126,000 pesos divided by 12 is equal to 10,500 pesos. His sales is equal to 365,500 pesos. His men's sales is equal to 1,000 or 1 million rather 548,263 pesos. His commission rate is equal to 5% or 0 0.05. For the solution, we will use the formula. So 10,500 pesos plus 365,000 times 0 0.05 plus 1,548,263 times 0 0.005 is equal to 36,516 0.32 pesos. So hi guys, after discussing the gross earnings, commission, and overrides, what is its importance for us as an ABM students? So computing commission and overrides is very important mostly in product managers for they can guarantee that the amount of commission and overrides they have received that is included in their gross earnings is correct and is properly given as their compensation. And as ABM student, we are more focused in money and management, so we study business math. With this subject, it is not shocking that computing commission and overrides is included as one of its topics.